Hello Gemini, welcome to a bonus love reading. This is going to be a reading all about your person and how they feel about you and the connection. And then we're also going to look at their next actions towards you. So this is meant to be short and sweet, so let's jump right in. As always, this is a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Gemini watching. So uh, please take what resonates for you, leave the rest if this doesn't resonate at all. Check out my playlist for Gemini. It'll be linked in the description box. All right, for Gemini spirit. Tell me about Gemini's person. What are they thinking or feeling about Gemini? What are they thinking or feeling about Gemini at this time? What are they thinking or feeling about Gemini at this time? Oh wow, we start with the King of Cups. What are they thinking or feeling about Gemini? Ten of Swords. There could have been an ending between you in the past. What are they thinking or feeling about Gemini? Eight of Swords. So there's fear here. There is... Um, probably fear because of whatever happened in the past year with this Ten of Swords. There's still love here, though, with the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So let's get some more information here. Tell me about the King of, of Cups. Spirit, tell me more about this King of Cups. The Magician. Yeah, this person... They're trying to manifest something and then have the Knight of Cups as well. So they're, I feel like they're bringing you an offer or when they think about you, they think about expressing how they feel. They think about maybe apologizing. Um, bottom of the deck, I have the Death card, Scorpio energy here. I feel like something changed or ended for you and this person. Could have been in the distant past, recent past. This might happen in the near future as well time is fluid but i feel for most of you this happened in the past and your person they're still thinking about it uh and now they're thinking about manifesting making something happen with the magician and it has to do with expressing how they feel emotions and love so let's see me move this over let's look at this ten of swords Why is the Ten of Swords here? The Devil, Capricorn Energy. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords. Ten of Pentacles, so another Ten here. Some of you, this was a situation with um, another commitment. Another commitment could have gotten in the way here. Uh, family could have gotten in the way here. Or uh, perhaps there was a lot of potential for something long term. But I think someone made a mistake here with the devil. Can I get one more for the devil? Maybe there was an unhealthy attachment or some sort of unhealthy choice that someone made here that has kept them trapped because I have the devil and I have the eight of swords. Can I get one more for this devil energy? What's this about? Five of wands. Yeah, there was some sort of conflict here or a group of people. There's in these two cards, there's a group of people. This could be drama. This could be um, difficulty. I feel like this affected your connection um, or caused an ending of some sort. I think someone wasn't really thinking clearly here. There could have been arguments. For others of you, I'm picking up now, this is um, 
happening right now for your person. Your person is having some sort of ending of a cycle. They could be in a, some sort of a commitment or a family situation. And I feel like when they think about you, they think about their current situation. Can I get one more for this Ten of Swords? The High Priestess. And then the moon at the bottom of the deck. Pisces energy. Very strong Pisces energy here. So I feel like this is someone who... Sorry, Gemini. I was interrupted. So I think their intuition is speaking to them is what I was saying. <laughs> um, there is a confusion and doubt about whatever's going on in their life. But for some reason, whatever's going on in their life... It has to do with you. So I don't know if some of you are in a third party situation where you're kind of already aware that there's some a family or another commitment in the way. And I think that's why there's this five of wands. It's almost like this person knows if they were to end this cycle right now in their life, there will be drama here. Um, so I, I do see those two messages. The first message being um, that there was an ending here that this person might have caused due to some mistakes that they're now stuck in and then the second message that i'm getting is that this is something your person has to do right now it's a cycle that's ending for them personally that's having to do with you for whatever reason tell me about the eight of swords seven of swords yeah there's definitely fear here your person will need to be um i feel like sneaky or deceptive in some way Maybe they're trying to be strategic because they're trying to figure out a way. Wow, three of swords. So whatever this is, I, I'm really starting to feel this is a third party situation for most of you. Your person's needing to be sneaky because someone's going to be hurt by their actions. Three of pentacles, another three. They're working on something here, trying to figure something out with the eight of uh, swords. It's a lot of thinking that they're doing have another three at the bottom of the deck some of you are definitely in a situation with three people i feel like this person um when they think about you when they think about this connection with you they're overthinking and it's because there's something that they need to work on or do or perhaps they can hurt someone with whatever they're thinking about doing with you something like that Let's see, I'm going to use my Secret Moon Oracle deck here. Can I get some more insight into what this person is thinking or feeling when it comes to Gemini? <clears throat> what are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Gemini? What are they thinking or feeling? I'm confused. That's the moon and I'm ready to open up. So maybe you're not in communication with this person at this time. Um, they're confused about what to do. They're thinking a lot with the eight of swords. And usually the eight of swords is a card where you're overthinking because you are stuck. Uh, you're paralyzed by fear and it's like you're overthinking because you, you're trying to see a way out. Um, or you are very scared of making a move and so you stay stuck. Tell me more about this person that Gemini is dealing with. What are they thinking or feeling? What is their energy towards this connection? The shark. So yeah, there's something your person feels the need to address. There's tension with the shark. The shark is almost like the elephant in the room. Something that you cannot ignore that you have to address. So let's see what they're going to do in the near future. What are their next actions going to be towards you? What is this person's next actions going to be towards Gemini? What are their next actions going to be towards Gemini? What are their next actions going to be? 
<laughs> Ten of Swords again. Okay. What are their next actions going to be? I'm telling you, there's a, something. It's like your person might have to cause an ending here. And there's the moon. Again, confusion because they don't know where this leads. Um, and if they're not communicating with you, they might have no idea how you feel or whether, you know, what your reaction will be, whether whether they'll be successful. What are their next actions going to be? Wow, look at that. The Ace of Cups. I'm telling you, the Knight of Cups, King of Cups, and now the Ace of Cups. So there's a lot of emotion here, a lot of feelings here. Whatever their next actions are going to be, it's going to maybe lead to a new beginning here. Let's see. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, there's there's an ending that's going to happen regarding uh, family, commitments, something that was long lasting or something that had to do with um it could even be financial like a job your person their next actions are going to be to end something here having to do with this ten of pentacles tell me one more please for the ten of swords this one the hermit virgo energy there you go another card about thinking intuition speaking to them listening to their inner voice seeking answers and then i have the death card again at the bottom of the deck so this is definitely about an ending so if this is not your person ending something right now in their life their next actions are going to be to try to figure out something to do about the ending that happened between you and them why is the moon here For um, the Geminis watching this, has there been a separation between you and this person? Because I feel like you're not really communicating with them or there's something they haven't told you with I'm ready to open up. Let me know in the comments. Wow, we have the two of cups. So again, I feel like there, there, there's an unknown here about a partnership. And I feel like this is you and them. It's almost like they're not sure about your connection. Um... And I feel like that would only happen if you're not really in contact or you haven't really thought about this. And there's the Eight of Swords again. That's where this, this fear is coming from. There's a fear of the unknown here regarding your connection. There's something that they feel um, that they don't know and it causes confusion and also fear. Maybe this is something like, I wonder how Gemini feels about me. I wonder if Gemini would accept me, would talk to me. How is Gemini thinking about me? Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Page of Swords. So there could be some sort of communication with this person that's very emotional. An emotional communication or emotional message with the Ace of Cups. This could be also a conversation about feelings, um, new love, a new chance at love. Can I get one more please for the Ace of Cups? The star, Aquarius energy, yeah. Healing, healing energy here. Hope, faith. But with the Ace of Cups, I'm thinking this is very healing energy. So it could be that someone wants to heal this connection or wants to have some sort of renewal with you. Um, maybe wants to talk about healing things, um, fixing things. You know, I, I still have hope for us or hope or faith in us and our connection and, and our feelings for each other. Something like that. Page of Swords is a card where, you know, it's not, they're not the best communicator, um, but they are very interested in being open and um and having that serious talk or at least addressing things in a very open way uh, if you enjoyed this reading please hit the like button subscribe let me know what you think down in the comments i'd love to hear from you all of the information that you want to know about personal readings my decks the decks that i use rings that i'm wearing my book my website all of that is in the description box right below this video uh, thank you so much for watching and um, hopefully I will see you all in another video very soon.
Take care.